Well, you know, let's just be honest. It's been a pretty difficult few years to be a cattle producer. Now, people in that business, they understand the cyclical nature of prices. And so that's not so much their beef, if you will. But in, the, in, in that environment, it is that much more difficult to have black swan event after black swan event hit these hardworking men and women. From the Holcomb fire to COVID-19 disruptions, it has been an incredibly volatile marketplace. And they're trying to make a living. They're trying to pay their bills in that kind of an environment with less price transparency than they have ever had. Now, it used to be relatively easy. Of course, I think we all know that a price discovery is a critically important part of any fully functional marketplace. And it used to be easy. You just went down to the sale barn, you sat in the seats, and you were able to see exactly what uh, Mr. Mann was selling his cattle for and exactly what Ms. Hartler was buying them for. But as we've seen a migration of uh, sales away from uh, the sale barn and to alternative marketing agreements, that has left our producers less prepared to understand what's going on in the marketplace. And so that's why I was so grateful to see a broad cross-section of stakeholders come together in Phoenix a few months ago. And they said, gosh darn it, we are tired of having the livestock industry fight amongst each other. Let's settle on what we can agree on. Things that we can actually get done in the 117th Congress. And Mr. Speaker, they came out of that meeting with a clear clarion call for what Congress can do to help. There were three major items, but this, the cattle library along with the bill we just passed, uh, Livestock uh, uh, Mandatory Reporting, were, uh, were the heart of one of the three recommendations. And so what this bill does is takes the information, uh, basic non-confidential information from those alternative marketing agreements and makes it available. And it makes sure that there is a mechanism for that information to be put into uh, resources that can actually be used by the independent uh, cattle producers and the small feeders that are so critically important to this marketplace. This has been widely bipartisan. And this is embraced by just a fantastic cross-section from the U.S. cattlemen to NCBA to Farm Bureau to Farmers Union uh, to the Livestock Marketing Association. Good people who have come together and understand that while this does not solve the problem, it is a critically important step in moving us in the right direction. And with that, I would reserve.